If you dream of a fountain of youth, you could do worse than live in Spain. With a life expectancy of 78, it's one of the most healthy countries in the world. But now the work of a Madrid-based scientist may be set to burst the boundaries of age altogether. She believes these yellow dots may contain the secret, if not to immortality, then at least to many of the diseases which afflict us in old age. I think we should strive to rebel against nature in every way that we can, to stop people dying from cancer and Alzheimer's, which occur when we age. Antonio Candemio is 100 years old. He's from Aleros in Galicia, in the northeast of Spain, an area renowned for the staying power of its inhabitants. He's lived through two world wars and the Spanish Civil War. Longevity, it seems, runs in the family. My grandmother was 96, and at the end, my mother was 92 or 94 when she died. We've always lasted very well. Antonio has his own theories of why he has lived so long. I'm a believer. I'm not one of those who says God doesn't exist. I'm a true believer, and it is God who has sustained me and continues to sustain me. The daily glass of red wine Antonio enjoys probably does no harm either, and experts would point to Spain's climate and its healthy diet. But it's always been assumed that no matter how healthy our lifestyle, the basic process of aging would always put a limit on how long we could live. Until now. Maria Blasco's work at the National Center for Biotechnology in Madrid challenges the whole concept of age, and she draws her inspiration from the natural world. Many sea anemones enjoy eternal youth. That's not to say they're immortal. They're still vulnerable to predators and infectious diseases, but they possess no inbuilt aging mechanism. It's one of a tiny group of creatures, including certain breeds of turtle, which if they could be cocooned for the rest of the world, would enjoy eternal life. Maria is working on the simple premise that if this is true for some animals, it could be for others. It means that there is a genetic program which determines our capacity to defend ourselves against aging. This is good news, because if nature controls this, we can investigate how and perhaps turn it to our own advantage. Down in the basement of Maria's laboratory, her colleague Juan shows off the results of an extraordinary experiment. These animals are both the same age, eight months. It is a very useful model for studying the process of aging. The mouse on the right has been genetically modified so as to accelerate the aging process. The mouse on the left is normal. In biological terms, the modified mouse is already the human equivalent of a hundred years old. In a couple of months, it'll be dead. The secret lies in these yellow dots, known as telomeres, which serve as protective caps at the end of chromosomes. As our cells endlessly divide over a lifetime, the telomeres protect them from degenerating. The problem is the telomeres eventually begin to degenerate themselves. This is when aging sets in. These telomeres degenerate every time a cell divides over the years. It's like a biological clock, a way of measuring how many more times a cell will be able to divide. But there is a magic ingredient which helps preserve telomeres, an enzyme known as telomerase. Present in sufficient quantities, it will effectively render a cell immortal. It exists in our reproductive cells, which do not degenerate, and it may explain the puzzle of the immortality of the turtle. What Maria has done to her mouse is to remove the telomerase altogether, hence its accelerated aging process. The big question is, if we add telomerase rather than taking it away, will it extend the lifespan? 
Work in this area is only just beginning, but it opens up a broader question. If aging is not inevitable, if nature has the means to combat it, why is it that nature has decided we should grow old? Maria believes the answer lies in evolution. A mouse in the wild lives on average for six months to a year before being eaten by predators. Since the vast majority of creatures in the wild are killed before they reach old age, nature has little interest in developing staying power. The brutal truth is that we are simple vehicles for our genes. So long as we stay alive long enough to reproduce, our genes care little for what happens to us afterwards. Nature has decided how long we should live based on how long we survive in the wild. It has no interest in providing animals with an anti-aging programme. Maria's work is a battle against the brutal indifference of nature. She's not promising anyone immortality, and most of us probably wouldn't want it. It's unlikely telomeres are the only element involved in aging, but what is clear is that as we age, we become more and more susceptible to certain diseases. And it's these diseases which Maria hopes to eradicate. This I would like to change. If we have to die, that we don't die from such awful diseases as cancer or Alzheimer's, that we die in a much more dignified way. Longer life and an old age free from suffering and pain, that is her goal. In the meantime, Antonio is happy enough to have reached 100. But the day may yet dawn when centenarians like him are viewed as mere youngsters. <laughs>